Before you take your life as you think you must do, will you read this letter I wrote to you? I know you spent the last few weeks writing your own in the form of a goodbye, maybe an explanation to your loved ones as to why, but it's your time to listen. What's one more minute before your decision? There are some things you need to know before you decide it's time to go. Before you take your life, will you close your eyes and remember the little child playing with sticks? She wouldn't want you to forget her. She didn't think you would make it this far. The future unknown, but she imagined what she would be like older and grown. And I know what you were thinking. Remembering you as a child doesn't save you from sinking. In fact, does it make you feel worse? Not being the woman you as a child would have been proud with to converse. But that's the point, is it not? You have so much more to prove. Don't you realize you would be killing her too? And what about the old woman you could be? Wrinkled and gray with grandchildren on your lap. You would be killing her before she even breathes think about your pain the tears the scars the shame did you think your body buried would eliminate the pain it will stay alive it will still be in the walls stained on the carpet floors don't you want it to be all clean before you turn and shut the door maybe give the air some more laughter before leaving it with all your sadness give your corpse some smile lines and memories before leaving it with all this badness think about the people who love you i know i know you're rolling your eyes for other people should not be the reason you do not want to die but think about how much you have failed at loving them it's not the fact that you were loved but loving others that may save you from within death has lost its beauty if we do not first live and life has lost its beauty if we do not first love I don't think you can ever force yourself to belong, but you can find pockets of peace along the way, say listening on repeat to your favorite song, and I don't think you can save anyone, but you can certainly save yourself once you realize there is more versions of you that have yet to be let out. Before you take your life, will you take a moment to think? You have shampoo left in the shower, some face wash on the sink. Won't that go to waste? What about the leftovers in the fridge you have yet to taste? There is a nagging inside of you, longing for something, and it's causing this dread, something you don't think you will find until you are dead. So why don't you live like you are going to be gone, treasuring every moment so you don't, so that you may feel more strong? For a life that is hard to live is better than no life at all. Before you take your life, will you remember to call everyone you've ever shared a laugh with? I promise if you do that, you will forget why life is something you wanted to miss. Before you end your life, can you step outside of yourself? Look up, the, look at the trees, the sun, listen to the voice of someone else. All this beauty you don't let yourself see, stuck with blinders on even while you listen to me. There's an old couple dancing, a child playing in the rain. Don't you think there's more to life than you letting it drain? I know you want a purpose in your pain, but have you ever stopped to consider your purpose is your pain? That sadness is a gift? Not that you have an excuse to drown in your tears, but so that you may be an example of triumph for others as you swim to the pier. Before you end your life, can you make it one more day and always one more day?